Hello and welcome to this blockchain revolution. Now before we talk about blockchain revolution, let's talk about a word that you might actually be familiar with. Something called Bitcoin. But Bitcoin is only one piece of a large bigger puzzle called cryptocurrency. And that's a word that you might be familiar with, with Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. And you're hearing about it, but you don't really understand exactly what it is. Well, it is the biggest financial shift of wealth in modern day history. And in this presentation, we're going to show you how you can own a piece of what I like to call virtual real estate. Now, let's do some asset trend comparison. You are already familiar with the U.S. currency, its value, and how it depreciates. As a matter of fact, in 2009, $100 purchased 20 loaves of bread. By 2017, $100 purchased 17 loaves of bread. That's a loss of 14.7% of its value in less than 10 years. Hard currency gold. In 2009, one ounce of gold was $1,087. By 2017, it was $1,256. So the value of gold actually gained 15.5% in its value. When you compare it to real estate, real estate, hard land, you know, can change over the past 10 years or so. You can have a loss from anywhere 1.35 to 17.31% to a gain of 1.4% to 55.70%. In fact, in 2016, it gained one and a half percent to 10.85 percent so real estate is something that's never going to go away gold is something that's never going to go away however cash what we like to call fiat currency is something that's going to be depreciating but let's compare this to cryptocurrency and you may ask is there any value in crypto well bitcoin in 2009 january came into existence by February of 2011, Bitcoin was $1 at parity with the U.S. dollar. By June 2017, the value was at $2,560. That's a 2,560% growth in value in just six years. If you purchase 5,000 Bitcoins in 2009 for $27, you would have $12.5 million today. Let's look at its little brother or sister, Ethereum. Ethereum in July 2015 went live. By February 2017, it was worth $11. By June 2017, the value was at $370. That 370% gain in its value in just four months. If you purchase 100 Ethereum in February of 2017 for $1,100, you would have $37,000 today. Now talk about letting your money work for you. Just a few months ago, you went from $1,100 to $37,000. In any sense of the word, that was a very good choice of where to put your money. Let's talk about the world of cryptocurrency. See, after Bitcoin, only a few currencies are exchanged globally in public. The top two, we call these blue chip coins, is Bitcoin and Ethereum. Then you have alternative coins, altcoins, where you have approximately 700 coins exchanged in public. So 90% is blue chip, 10% altcoins, and other coins, there's 26 other other coins not exchanged in public. That's hoping to be in the future and rising. But blue chip right now is what we're going to focus on, the Bitcoin and the Ethereum. There is an entire world cryptocurrency exchange rate taking place right now that most people don't even know about. The Bitcoin market cap is over $46 billion. Ethereum is at $24 billion. So, so many of you may think you've missed out on this wave. Well, it's never too late. But to make it even easier, our focus is going to be on Ethereum. But what's the difference between Bitcoin versus Ethereum? Well, Bitcoin was started in 2009, anonymous ownership. At the current print, it was valued at $2,800 per coin. Hard coin supply cap is at $21 million. 
already increased by 90,000%. Only digital currency, peer-to-peer -peer transaction, monofunctional, not upgradable platform, no longer easy or profitable to mine. Say, what is mine? We're going to talk about that in a moment. And Bitcoin is having difficulty scaling because each Bitcoin block has a one megabyte limit. Ethereum, on the other hand, started in January 2014, formally announced by Vidalik Buterin at the North American Bitcoin Conference in Miami. June price approximately $370 and was $11 in February of 2017. Its hard coin cap is about double or triple that of Bitcoin at 92 million, growing faster than Bitcoin 7.33% versus 4.30%. It's also a digital currency, multifunctional financial and transaction platform. Investors and users are Microsoft, Intel, IBM, Amazon, Toyota, JP Morgan, Bank of America, Citibank, and 22 more. Ethereum smart contract technology uses blockchain applications for contract negotiation and facilitation. Now, Ethereum really started to soar after JP Morgan, Intel, Microsoft, and 30 other companies formed a blockchain alliance called Enterprise Ethereum Alliance, EEA. In fact, in February of 2017, Microsoft announced that it would offer Ethereum on its new blockchain as a service offering on the Microsoft Azure cloud platform. Ethereum is the first blockchain supported in Azure and it is evolving to address the needs of enterprises globally. This announcement will be remembered as the moment when blockchain technology became mainstream with Ethereum at the center of it. Now you have about four different types of Bitcoin networks out there, but we're only gonna focus on one and that is the mining. Because this is how you can develop your very own real estate through cryptocurrency and almost like you're printing your own money. Here's how this works. Mining rewards early adapters. It's not a do-it-yourself deal. Now, the last time we heard of mining when it came to currency was the gold rush. When the gold rush happened, everybody moved out west, sold all their belongings, and bought picks and shovels and started digging in the ground for gold. Well, in this revolution, we're actually digging through the internet digitally for gold, except that gold is called cryptocurrency. But it's not an easy task. It must be cost effective, it must be fast, must be large scale, and must be multi-currency. You must have analytics, must be upgradable, must be well managed, and must have the option for group mining. So welcome to Mining Max that is here to do that for you. Mining Max is a professional mining company that maintain and manage mining machines for individuals and companies. They have their headquarters in Las Vegas, USA, and its operations center located in Los Angeles. And Mining Max is providing consignment management service of mining machines owned by individual members. The mining facilities of Mining Max is located at a safe and efficient ID center that stands for Internet Data Center in South Korea, where they can maximize the mining profits with low electrical charges. With professional consignment operation and management system, Mining Max is continuously mining profitable cryptocurrencies with the most value and profit is generated to its owners. So we have huge data mining farms that's going to be doing the mining for you. These are Mining Max machines you can own and you can own not just one, but many. Each machine produces cashable, sellable, tradable cryptocurrency every day. It also has maintenance under the best possible service and environment only at Mining Max. The ID center of Mining Max is located in Seoul, South Korea. Professional and safe environment for your machine, state of the art facilities, low electrical charges, and 39 top engineers working at Mining Max data center. The management system has internet data center, Analyze current market, which finds and mines the current most valuable coins, which means if there's another coin that becomes even more valuable than Ethereum, we can always switch our machines to mine the new valuable coins. And it has a group mining and total management where large mining farm maximizes the profit margins of each individual machine. 
when you look at the company history, in 2015, it was a startup global IT company. And as it's progressed, by 2016 in June, it selected Ethereum as a cryptocurrency that we're going to be using to mine. In August, we started mining with Mining Max for Ethereum. And all the way to October 2016, start to mass mine in our mining farms at Seoul, Korea. 2017, we did global expansion of Mining Max, but still really it's localized in South Korea and it's just starting to launch around the world. The CEO and founder and owner is Nam Ho Daniel Park. He has over 30 years of experience in business management and marketing in both domestic and international business ventures. Consultant to the Korean government, former president of Kia Motors, he founded Mining Max, a revolutionary IT-based company that provides consignment maintenance service of mining machines, launched Lisa Inc., which provides live interpret interpretation services using smartphone app anywhere, anytime, founded Angel Legal Service Corporation, connecting attorneys to customers seeking affordable legal services, and he had 12 years in Kia Motors, four years as president overseeing all marketing and sales activities, and eight years as overseas marketing team director. And helping out President Daniel Park, we also have our number one earner right now, Sunny Sun. Now here's some simple steps for you. Think, what do I need to do? This is how easy it is. The first thing you do is you're gonna buy your own mining machine. You're gonna to start to make money with it. There's no loss here because it's mining for cryptocurrency, Ethereum, every single day. You cash the cryptocurrency or you can keep it, hold on to it. You can tell other people about it and you will be referred and get a bonus for referring other people to also put money into purchasing their own machine. This is an asset that you're pur purchasing, an asset that's gonna deliver and give you some positive results. So how to get started? Well, the mining machine upon purchase, it will be mining for two years. The, mining, the machine mines about three to four Ethereum per month. You're gonna have a certificate of ownership will be given to owner of machine. Renewal option is available after two years. Machines are insured. Payments can be made through either Bitcoin, Ethereum, or wire. If in the United States, you can even do cashier's check and get back to the person who introduced you to the mining mass and ask for assistance. But the cost is $3,200. Now with that $3,200, It'll take you about three and a half months of mining and you just made the money back. And now you have another 21 months of pure profit. Let's talk about the rise of profitability. See, Mining Max is providing members with Ethereum through mining and has the best mining performance with stable management, generally increase in difficulty, will decrease mined coins, which will increase their price. Now, as mentioned before, we started off with four-way machines. We now have six-way mining machines to maximize returns in line with the diversifying Ethereum market. We are pleased to be able to maximize the profits of Mining Max members with a combination of more stable parts and software to increase the hash rate and output. So in October 2016, our four-way machine that was doing about four and a half terahertz hash rate was mining 12 to 13 Ethereum that you got paid on. But at the time, Ethereum was only worth $9.96. So each machine was giving you about $129 a month in profit. Fast forward to June 2017. We now have a six-way machine. And with this six-way machine, it's mining you about three and a half to four Ethereum a month. Now that may seem a lot, lot lower. But the value of each Ethereum at this time of this printing was $250. Right now, when I last look, it's up to $318. So now you're looking at each machine doing an average of about $1,000 a month per machine. So let's talk about our mining profits. One machine costs you $3,200. Upon purchasing a machine, it will be mining for two years. You keep 60% of mining profits. 30% stays with the company for service, maintenance, accounting, 
and administration. You've got a 10% mining bonus for those of you that want to actually share this with other people that you know that's looking to make their money work for them. And you're going to earn about $800 to $1,200 a month in potential income per machine. Now understand that this is for illustration purposes only and no specific income is guaranteed or implied. The installation of mining machines takes a minimum of 10 business days after the completion of payment. So I would say anywhere between two to three weeks to be on the safe side. And number of coins mined varies based on difficulty level. So I want to use an analogy that you might be familiar with. We're going to talk about real estate. If somebody came to you about a real estate opportunity, and this is what they said, what if, you buy an investment property for $3,200 and your property manager handles all maintenance, administration, and collects the rent for you on a daily basis. At the time you purchase the rental property, you already have a tenant signed for a 24-month lease and your net income from the monthly rent is approximately $1,000 per month after the property manager takes out all expenses management fees, and all the hassle, you put that $1,000 toward your $3,200 purchase price each month. You will pay off your property in approximately three and a half months, and the remaining 20 and a half months will be pure profit. You can purchase multiple properties, either up front or use your monthly income to purchase additional properties, and each property comes with these same conditions. At the end of the 24-month lease, you spend approximately $750 to $1,000 doing some upgrades to the property, and the tenant signs a new 24-month lease, and after the first month, you have recouped the money spent on the upgrades, and the remaining 23 months are pure profit again. Here's another scenario. What if you buy three properties for $9,600 that generates a net income of approximately $3,000 per month for 24 months. Pay off your purchase in three and a half months and you have 20 and a half months of pure profit. Total net income is $61,500 on a $9,600 purchase price. Of course, that's a good deal. What if you bought five properties for $16,000 that generates a net income of approximately $5,000 per month for 24 months. You pay off your purchase in three and a half months and have 20 and a half months of pure profit. That's a total net income of $102,500 on a $16,000 price, purchase price. But option number three, you bought 10 properties for $32,000 that generates a net income of approximately $10,000 thousand dollars per month for 24 months you pay off your purchase in three and a half months and have 20 and a half months of pure profit total net income two hundred and five thousand dollars on a sixteen thousand dollar purchase price actually thirty two thousand dollar purchase price that's a no-brainer here's another what-if scenario you could actually split the cost with a friend family member, or anyone else you would be comfortable having as your business partner and dilute your investment capital outlay and any risk. This is truly passive income that will allow you to stay home, travel, or continue with your current job and earn a daily income that can be sent to you no matter where you are. Also, the monthly rental amount will likely increase over the course of each rental year, so the income numbers illustrated are based on the most conservative projections possible taking no increase in valuation into account, which the experts project sizable increases in valuation over the next coming years. Now, it is not real estate. It's much better because there are no renters to deal with, no busted pipes, no leaky roofs, no maintenance headaches, period. If this type of scenario interests you, then you want to text the number to whoever is showing you this presentation and they will provide you with more details. And you can decide if this is for you. Welcome to Mining Max. Bye bye. <laughs>
The future is already here. Mining mix.